Hi, this is an Easy Kiss 1 2 3 tutorial, and today we're going to set up a very cool drag and drop script. And the script comes from this book, PHP and Ajax Building Responsive Web Applications. And I'm not going to cover the code and how it works, but I'm going to show you how to set it up so you can use it. And if you want to know more about integrating Ajax into your web pages and building other very cool scripts, and I would highly recommend checking this book out. So if you're not already there, let's get started by going to easykiss123.com. And if you don't see the tutorial at the top of the page, come over here to the search box, type in drag and drop, and do a search for it that way, and it should bring it up. And once you're there, let's go down here, and I'll show you what it looks like. If we go to the demo tab and take a look. So what this is, I've called it book management. It could be anything. It's any sort of list or items that you want sortable in a drag and drop interface. So right now I have two of them in here, my book and my other book, very creative names. And as you can see, you can just drag them. My book's on top. If I drag this one up, my other book is on top. Now we're going to do two videos. This first one is just going to be about setting this section up. The second video is going to be about updating your page so the changes you make the changes you make here are reflected here now let's refresh this page and you can see I have my book and my other book well if I take this and drag it up it saves it to my MySQL database as this order and if I come back and look at my page it's updated so let's get started Come over to the tutorial page on the download tab and you'll see download part one. And save that anywhere on your computer. And you'll have a file called drag drop one dot zip. So extract that and you'll get a folder called drag drop one. When you open the folder, you're going to see a file called tasks.sql and another folder. Right now we want to look at tasks.sql. Open it up. Don't need to do anything now, just leave it open. So let's go to our browser. What we need to do is set up our MySQL database for this to work. I've already set mine up, but I'm going to give you a little bit of heads up on how to do it. If you go to your control panel for your host and you log in, you'll see somewhere in there, well you should see if it's a good host PHP my admin if you open that up what you should see here is a little spot where it says create new database and the way mine's set up it doesn't allow me to create a database through here yours might if it does go ahead and create a database there just give it a name and create your username and password for your database. If you don't see it in your control panel, you probably have another option like what I have here, MySQL database wizard, where if you go through that way, you just give your database a name, walk through and put your username and password. Now, once you have your username and password set up, I want you to come over here to this box and select your database. Mine is drag drop. Now I've already set up my table, but I'm going to delete it just so I can walk through this completely with you. So once you have selected your drag drop database or whatever you call your database, come over here to the tab where it says SQL and click that and it should bring up a box, big empty box. Now what we're going to do is that file that we opened, tasks.sql, you'll see that code. Let's copy all of that code and paste it in that box and then just click go. So that creates your table. So now that that is set up, what we want to do is come back to our folder and open up the drag and drop folder. Inside you'll see a file called config.php. Open that with whatever program you want to edit it with. So I'm going to right click and say open with notepad, dreamweaver, wordpad, whatever you want to open it with. Now in here where it says local host, you can likely leave that, that's pretty standard. Database user, well, my database username, if I could remember what I called it, um, 
go to MySQL databases here and see what I called it. My username, I called it EasyKiss underscore drag it. So I'm going to EasyKiss underscore drag it. Database password, I called that pass it. And DB database, so that's my database name. Well, my database name is EasyKiss underscore drag drop. So I'm going to go EasyKiss underscore drag drop. And then I'm going to save this file. And open up my favorite FTP program so I can upload these files. Now, back out here. So this drag and drop folder, what I'm going to do in my www directory, I'm just going to take the whole folder and upload it there, FTP it. and let that go up. So what I want to do now is test it. Go easykiss123.com and I put it in drag and drop and the file I want to open is the index.php. So let's open it up. And here we are. And right now it's called task management. You can call it whatever you want. I call on um, the original setup. I called it book management. Go into the file and edit that. That's easy enough. So I will say book one and click add, and there it added the book. I say another book and add, and even more books. Click add. So then I can take these, drag them around to whatever order. And I'll say, and even more books, put that right on top. If I go here and refresh, you can see, and even more books on top. So the second video, I'm going to go over integrating the drag and drop script that we set up into your website. And you can check that out. It should be online very soon. Thanks for watching.